Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be checking out the 2023 banquet event, previously known as the gifting event, that time of year where we'd have a flurry of top tier alliance drama and credit card fraud scandals. But those days are behind us because instead of gifting now, you just directly gift your money to Kabam, which is kind of how it's always been. However, I was kind of pleasantly surprised again. I was having a little bit of a break this time last year. Uh, and I didn't do the last banquet event. However, this one, and I don't know if it was the same last year. Again, I wasn't playing at the time. Uh, but there was just like this accolades gifting thing, like straight out of the gate. So you initially get a message with like 20 accolades and you just gift them to your friends and alliance members. And it's stuff like, oh, you know, the best player or uh, the best roster or, you know, stuff like that. And you just instantly get 10 of these crystals for free. And like, you know, back in the back in the boomer days of MCOC, you were lucky, you know, just via the calendar to get um uh what is it, three or four of these crystals for free if you logged in like all of the days throughout Christmas and relentlessly annoyed your family members. So being able to get like 10 of these straight out of the gate, oh, that seems pretty good to me. So I really, really like that. Um, and yeah, hopefully these crystals are gonna be alright. The drop rates again, I think for like sweaty necropolis players. Um, aren't going to feel like the best crystals in the world unless you get really, really lucky. But I think for the um, uh, majority of the, the casual community and progressing players, I mean, there's just some absolutely huge stuff. Like, this event is so big for a lot of people that are quite behind on their rosters because they can instantly get, like, much higher resources, much higher champions, and kind of, like, rocket forward a little bit. But also on top of that, you have kind of the traditional banquet one. So you've got your, uh, what is it, solo milestones where you get like additional units. There are also additional crystals kind of working your way up. Really, if you are spending at some of the later tiers into the, um, what is it, the guaranteed seven star this year, uh, which has seven, uh, sorry, six new champions. You've got Moon Dragon, Sandman, Diablo, Adam Warlock, Shocker, and Professor X. And that is like quite a lineup there. I think like Adam Warlock, Shocker, Professor X, and Diablo, Probably the best. Sandman is pretty damn good as well. Moon Dragon would probably be like the one I want the least out of these six. And Sandman, like, I've already got him as six star. I've already got him, like, pretty much maxed out. But Sandman, he's not bad to get, you know. But, like, Adam Warlock or Shocker or Prof X or Diablo, man. Like, really, really crazy characters. So all of those would be very much appreciated. But again, to get to that milestone, uh, again, is going to require a lot of work there. And then you also have your, uh, and by a lot of work, I mean a lot of spending. You know, let's not f forget that this this is not a player's event, man. This is a whale milking clown fiesta if you really want to get to the top sweaty stuff. Now, the final alliance milestone, if you want that guaranteed seven star crystal, I think if you're in an active alliance that's somewhat prepared for this, is much, much easier to get if everybody's on the same boat of doing a little bit to get toward this than the solo one is. Because this is like just over a million points combined. It's like a 34,500 individual requirement if you want to, you know, get the reward when you cross that threshold as well. And there's just a lot of really good stuff in here, man. You've just got the, the dust as well. Uh, just all of the, the gifting crystals, the units, you know, you're already going to get some sort of... um. Uh, refund on the units just doing kind of the solo one uh, and also the alliance one in terms of the early milestones as well uh, so yeah I see the alliance one that seven star uh, one being like very achievable because I got 21k so far I've just purchased like 10 crystals haven't really gone in and in this event as well you get points for not only purchasing the crystals uh, but also opening them on top of that. So just purchasing them is like 2,100, and then opening uh, is an additional 700. So it's like 2,800 total there. Um, so yeah, the points like stack up quite fast. And again, with the, the unit refund you get in the milestones, I think um, in order to get everything, it probably sets you back about like, you know, 1,500 uh, to 2,000 units, maybe like a little bit more than that. But I think for like everything you get combined, uh, it's probably worth going for for most players. Again, banquet and gifting is something that people like generally prepare for uh, a long time if you're actively playing Marvel Contest of Champions. But this one, again, just from like a perspective of somebody that missed last year's event, but you know, I've, I've done like you know, every gifting event before that. Like, this seems so much better in comparison, like, getting, like, 10 crystals out the gate. Like, previously, you couldn't even get close to touching some of the, um, 
uh, the final like alliance gifting event milestones, uh, unless you were like a really really sweaty whale guild. Uh, and it's nice to see them, you know, significantly more accessible. But again, you do need an active alliance and you do need everybody to be a little bit prepared. And there are some people that are going to be, you know, blasting out the gate with this one. Are going to have all of this done by this evening. And there are going to be people that log into an alliance and you got like four active players. And you're like, damn, man, we should have prepared a little bit more for this. But, you know, it's just, it's just the... Uh, the way of gifting but you know all the milestone rewards are, are pretty damn nice uh, everything considered there uh so yeah we got 29 crystals to open today and the drop rates again for a lot of people that have been sweating in the necropolis the main thing you're after really is like the seven star hero crystal shards like the tier three alpha uh the t6 cc the t6 basic and then scrolling down there's like just under a seven percent chance that seven star hero crystal shards again something you really want to see there's a 22% chance at six star hero crystal shards, which again, if you're kind of at that um, a Valiant level, you're probably at that point where like six stars, you know, all the duplicates are just more fuel to get like seven star crystal shards. So it's not really like something you're super excited about there. But again, the big thing uh, that you're after in this one as well is just like outright pulling another seven star gifted guardians crystal because that's a guaranteed seven star uh, from the milestones as well or a Paragon Gifted Guardians Crystal, which gives you an additional roll uh, at getting like a seven star one. I'm not too sure if these are like multi-stack or whatever, uh, but we'll find out. But yeah, there's, there's like loads of stuff on these, man. It is pretty ridiculous, but uh, let's open 29 of these. Uh, and hopefully like one of them is gonna be pretty damn good. So let me know also in the comments, like how many crystals you opened today um, and if you got anything good out of them. Because again, I think as long as you're in an alliance, everybody should be able to instantly open 10 if you just, you know, open up your mailbox and send all of your accolades there. So 250,000 gold. And that is going to be signature stones. Are those six star six stones there? Uh, they are. They're generic. It's like 10 levels. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not bad. Not really what you want for 300 units, but I will take it, I guess. Okay, let's have a look at number two. The gold, the gold is pretty nice though. Like 250k is still like a really big chunk. And also like having those rocks, those are the, was it the T6 ones as well? 250k gold. And that's going to be 4,000 six star hero crystal shards. Okay, on to the next one. So I'll, I'll like stop at 10 just so we can see like what you'd maybe get if you were just uh, logging into this event. Just in a random stack on an account. So a bit of tier 6 Cosmic ISO. 500,000 gold. That's a little bit better. Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. That's not the... <laughs> that, that's just the power. I thought that was like the actual... Like, I just got the 7 star crystal. <laughs> just because it looked like a Titan crystal, man. What a troll. What a troll. I love it. I hate it, but I love it. Um, okay, we got two of those to open. It's really good that you get a stack of two as well. Because, uh, you know, that's spent 300 units worth. And we got two featured Paragon Crystals. So that's 600 units. Plus, we got the gold. So that's uh, that stonks right there. Two and a half million gold. What? That's so much gold, dude. Two and a half million. Are you having a giggle? Bro, that's big. That's really big. <clears throat> wow. Okay. I, I wasn't... Ex I was like... I thought the jackpot was going to be like 500k or a mil. Uh, I don't even know if that's the jackpot for sure. That feels like it's the jackpot though. Like two and a half million is absurd. But we need that gold. So that is that is tremendous. And that's going to be... Oh, Titan Crystal Shard 600. Not not the, the biggest stack in the world. Could be a little bit bigger, man. Could be a little bit bigger. It's still kind of equivalent to Jupiter 7 Star. I'll take it over the SIG levels, man. I'll take over the single levels. Okay, what we get? Tier 6 Science ISO here. Another 2.5 million gold, 500,000. Won't knock it. And that's going to be a bit of Tier 6 Basic, 28,500. Not bad. Not bad. So we are with 7 crystal. Is it 7? Or 6? Might be 6. Counting's hard, man. Counting's real hard. Okay, what we got next? We start with 29. This might be seven. 500,000 gold. And 
Paragon gifted guy. You know, I, I saw that crystal coming out. I wasn't going to get too excited too early there, man. Well, let's have a look. What's coming up next? We've got, so I think we got four of those to open. I'm assuming that was a stack of two again, but we'll go back and check in uh, a moment just after the, the next one and then two more. Okay, that's going to be 250,000 gold there. And a bit of tier six basic. Okay, next one. Surround bread, like how addicting these gifting crystals are, dudes. They are, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty damn Moorish. It's true, the gold as well. Like, gonna fix some gold problems. Double ISO? That was double ISO, right? A million gold. And a fully formed tier set. Doesn't feel bad, dude. Doesn't feel bad. A million gold feels good. <laughs> <laughs> and a fully formed as well. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, let's let's have a, a little bit of a look here. So we've got tier 5 mutant ISO. Got 250,000 gold. And we got 6 star signature stone crystal here. So yeah, it's not a bad stack of stuff. That gold is absolutely absurd though, dude. Like 6.25 million is uh is pretty damn nuts that certainly covers a fair bit of ground there and we also have yet to open the four uh paragon gifted guardian crystals as well so i think that's going to be a little bit spicy again we're going to wait toward the end of this video uh because we're probably going to get hopefully a couple more uh be nice to get a stack of 10 of them and uh be very nice to pull a seven star champion but let's have a look here we got crystal number 11 and then i think we'll probably spin out I think we do eight more after this, and then I feel like we just should just like pop a stack of ten and just see what we get. That was four thousand six star shards again. Not really what we're after. Ideally, we just want to see those uh, those gifted guardian crystals. The seven star fully formed is the dream here. And this is going to be... Oh, okay. Tier 3 Alpha fully formed. I'll very happily take that. Seven more to go. Or that seven-star version of Thanos or Kang for the trophy roster. Very much appreciated. I see if you, like, get number one in the, like, Giga Whale gifting event. You spend, like, 100k on this game. Uh, you get, like, 11 copies of seven-star Thanos and Kang. Five tier two alpha. That's a lot of tier two alpha. They're all in overflow. They're always in overflow though. So at least we can sell them now. <laughs> Is the the small silver line in there? But yeah, not not really quite the one. I'm looking for that big juicy stack of two and a half million gold. That's uh, that's my gacha there. Okay, two hundred fifty k and yeah, a bit of tier six basic. Okay, on to the next one. I will also very happily take a fully formed T6CC uh, of any class. Those are always very welcome. And are there any bigger... We haven't got any 7 star shards yet. Okay, that's 4,000 6 star. I'm also curious to see what the stacks of 7 star shards look like. Uh, just for the, the base ones as well. Like, are there big stacks? Can you get, like, 15,000 seven-star hero crystal shards? Because you used to be able to do that. I think you get, like, 10k six-star. Okay, another fully formed tier six basic. Again, not too bad. I think, you know, these crystals, for some people, like, teetering on the edge of Paragon, but maybe, like, struggling to have a few resources, these could be a very nice bridge. Okay, let's have a look. Bit of Cosmic T5, 250k gold. And some more Paragon Gifted Guardian Crystals. We love to see those. We we just need to get lucky. We do need to get lucky in opening these those crystals. And we're going to be having a great time. Okay. This is the, the second to last one we're going to be spinning. And then we're just going to YOLO pop a stack of 10. And see what we get. 250k gold. Six stones. Ah, oh, that's not quite what we're after there. 
I feel like we started strong. This stack has it hasn't been like amazing. It's not been like you know, there's nothing that's been absolutely diabolical. Maybe the tier two alpha was a bit diabolical. But no, no colossal wins. And okay, a bit of bit of tier three alpha there. So yeah, overall, uh that's the result of 19. We're gonna like exit out and then come back in. Uh, just to see what we could get. Again, the gold was a lot, lot lower without those like big jackpots there. Let's go back in. We're just going to pop a stack of 10 here. And let's see what happens. Okay, we got four. Oh, we've also got a catalyst selector here. Uh, just tier five though. Okay, I'm just going to pick up. There's a lot of science things I want to take up at the moment. Okay, so these are, I assume, the gifted guardian crystals. So I think, does that give us 10 now? Should be pretty good. We got some tier 5 basic. We got a 6 star generic awakening gem. Got a few of those. Uh, knocking them out. And then that was the selector. And also 3 million gold there. So yeah, there, there is a lot riding on like the result of the uh, the Paragon Gifted Guardian Crystals to be fair. Because aside from that, uh, there's nothing, <laughs> there's really nothing too good there, is there? We got a lot, a lot of 6 star shards, dude. A lot of 6 star shards. Okay, we need to find these... Uh, Paragon gifted guardian crystals. Where abouts are they? Oh, okay, here we go. So the drop rate on these, I think is just like standard featured paragon, right? Or is it standard paragon? It's just standard paragon, like 1% on a seven star hero. Okay, well, that's, uh, yeah. It's tough, but it doesn't matter, guys. You know, every, every gambler knows you either get the, the good champion or you don't. So, um, it's really as easy as that. We just need to get super lucky and get multiple seven stars in here. We can we can beat that one in a hundred easy. Okay, so it's going to be a five star version of Professor X. I guess the kind of good thing about these crystals, right? It's still like an eight percent drop chance on a six star. There's going to be a lot of people getting these and just getting one of these champions very easily as a six star character, and even as uh, six stars, like a lot of these characters, if you know how to play them are super good dude they're very hard carriers in like certain areas of the game i've heard very good things about shocker after the buff but like professor x you take this guy you use him with like a mutant power booster he is ridiculous or if you just get good at playing professor x he's ridiculous as well i haven't seen that much like professor x necropolis gameplay but i'd like to i'm, I'm sure it's probably out there i just need to search for it need to uh, look up the, the beer man videos Oh my god, dude, I thought that was gonna happen then. Oh, damn. Got trolled. I got baited so hard there. It was absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I thought we were just gonna, just like that, get a seven star version of Professor X, but we got, we got Giga Scammed. Yeah, let's have a look. Crystal number four is gonna be a five star version of Moon Dragon there. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. It's better than the. The four star max copium there. And let's uh, go for the next one. This is crystal number five. Please stop. Oh, damn it, dude. That is seven star Adam Warlock. I, I didn't feel as baited that time. I knew it was just going to roll over. But it was still a little bit crushing. Yeah, these ones, uh, these ones are definitely, uh, definitely very trolly. Kind of, kind of nice having the very limited pool on drops, though. Not getting my hopes up. Yep. <laughs> Five-star Diablo. Okay. We got this. One in a hundred. Let's do it. Let's do it. We did it on the freaking Legends Crystal. Just clutching a bishop out of a random Paragon. We can do it today. Going to be a four-star version of Shocker there. Okay. Three more remain. Three more chances at the seven star dream and not on this one. We're officially a desperation station now. This is what the whole opening has been building up to here. A seven star Adam Warlock off the second to last crystal. A seven star Adam Warlock off the last crystal. <laughs> it's gonna happen. 
I believe, dude, I believe. I don't think we got a six star, though. This one, right? It's just been a lot, a lot of five star champions. We're looking for the seven star. Adam Warlock. Oh, five star Moon Dragon. Well, uh, that did not go quite as planned. You know, I've, I've got to admit. Um, but we got a lot of five-star champions, so there is that, I guess, <laughs> you know, we're, dude, it is 2018, we'd be having a great time, boys, we'd be having a very, very good time, um, but yeah, overall, that is it for, like, our very first look at the, the banquet event, I think we'll probably do, um, uh, a few more banquet crystal openings, this has definitely taken up our, our points a fair bit, we get the piece of uh, Deathless Guillotine. Got to do the challenges as well at some point, dude. I'm dreading doing like that Guillotine 2099 versus Bahamut one. That is, yeah, not looking quite like my cup of tea there. Um, so, yeah, we just got a few additional things we can claim. And then, again, if you want to, like, go for that one, it is a, like, crazy way they like to do. So, we got to do uh, uh, a bit of spending in order to get there. Um, but already you can see just for the, the qualifying criteria and again the only thing like I've brought so far was the um, uh, Was just 10 crystals. I just brought like the $50 bundle beforehand But you know already qualified if my lines gets to it uh, to get that to that seven star gifted guardians milestone um, And yeah, I'm gonna personally make sure <laughs> my lines gets to it anyway uh, But it's like an hour and we're like halfway done. It, it should easy be done by um uh, tomorrow probably anyway uh but yeah ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts on that the banquet event um i must say it feels like a pleasant surprise overall so far uh the crystals themselves you know um they're not like overly stacked for anybody at necropolis level i don't think there's a reason unless you want to go like super sweaty and competitive in like the solo event uh to go like crazy in on just buying loads of those crystals unless you need like a lot of gold or you just like burning money um but yeah like let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you did enjoy today's crystal opening please do smash that like button that would greatly appreciate it thank you all very much for watching take care and i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day